Welcome to MTB Radley. Do your brakes sound like this? If so, stay with me and I'll show you how I deal with sounds like this. For more mountain bike tips, reviews, and trail rides, subscribe to my channel, tap the bell to be notified when I upload a new video every Thursday. Mountain bikes are rad. You should get one. As an outdoor professional, I've helped thousands of people recreate outside and mountain biking was just one of those activities. Now, it's time for me to help you. Dirt and oil buildup may make your brakes sound like this. When my brakes make that sound, there's a few things I can do to take care of it. Your first option is to wear earbuds and play music. While the sound doesn't go away, it's not as loud to you, although your friends will still have to listen to it and they might not like it. If you want them to continue riding with you, you might want to take a different approach. That other approach could be cleaning your disc brakes. When you do this, you want to clean the pads and the rotors. I like to use rubbing alcohol on my pads and rotors, but you could use um, disc brake cleaner. When I clean my disc brakes, these are some of the tools and supplies that I use. Got me some rubber gloves to protect my hands, uh, but mostly to keep the oils from my skin, uh, keep them from getting onto the brake pads or the rotors. I've got isopropyl alcohol that I use with a microfiber towel to uh, clean the pads and the rotors. If you don't have these, you can probably borrow from a friend. Now that we've got our uh, tools and supplies laid out, we are ready to remove the uh, pads and the rotors. To learn how to remove disc brake pads and rotors, click the eye in the upper right hand corner. Okay, we've got everything removed and everything that we want to clean is sitting right here. So now I'm going to put on the old rubber gloves. Chemicals can be absorbed through your skin, so whenever I work with uh, chemicals, I put on rubber gloves. I'm applying rubbing alcohol to this microfiber towel. It is a good idea to cap whatever chemical you're using in case you knock it over and you don't have to spill it everywhere. And then I'm just gonna take this rubbing alcohol and wipe the disc brakes real good. Kind of wipe off my fingers, clean off any dirt that I may have gotten the first time around. go. Do the same thing with the other rotor. Phew! The rubbing alcohol is strong. Oh. those gloves again and bring it around. In a previous video we went over the gear all new mountain bikers should have. Click the eye to access that video and look in the description below to download that free checklist. If you're using chemicals make sure you're doing it in a well ventilated area. Woo, stuff is strong. Now I'm gonna put that right there. Got my pads separated. I know which ones were in the front, which ones were in the rear. Yeah, those are dirty, huh? Some dirty brake pads. In the back side. I'll just clean it all off. That way, when I go to put it on, it doesn't I don't have to worry about touching the dirty back side and cross contaminating everything. Since I'm using a rubbing alcohol, I'm not going to need to wait very long for that to evaporate off these parts and then I can reinstall those pads. You are just not cooperating tonight, are you? Now let's put those back on the bike. If you clean your own disc brakes on your mountain bike, what's the best tip you can give us? Leave your comments below.
Here's a quick recap of the steps I take to clean my disc brakes. One, remove the wheels. Two, remove the brake pads and the rotors. Three, use a cleaning agent like rubbing alcohol or a disc brake cleaner. Four, remove any excess cleaner. Five, reinstall the pads and rotors. Six, reinstall the wheels. Seven, test those brakes. Go for a quick ride around the yard, down the driveway, or through the alley. If the brakes still squeal, repeat steps one through seven. If that doesn't work, replace the brake pads. Those are my seven steps for cleaning my disc brakes. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you on the trail. If you're new to mountain biking, you wanna get your hands on my free checklist that covers the gear you need for a trail ride. This checklist will fast track you to feeling confident for your first ride. Look for the link to this free checklist in the description below. If you learned something, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Tap the bell to get notifications for my next video. Until next week, I'll see you on the trail.